My name is John Gallegos. I'm the, CS I'm the CEO of a company called CSTI out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. We are a professional land surveying subsurface utility SUE and SUM company that encompasses New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Utah, and Texas. Uh, we offer a range of services uh, utilizing cutting edge technology with uh, workflows to help designers and contractors and owners to min minimize risk and maximize their ROI in the built environment. The reason we uh, selected the see-through was a, a, a few reasons. Um, one is uh, that was uh, huge for us was uh, acquisition of the data, uh, being able to optimize the information, be able to collect it in one simultaneous pass, you know, using the dual polarization antenna just not only cuts, um, cuts down on time, but it also uh, allows us to you know, provide denser scans of the areas and it's just uh, it's just clearer and faster and, 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 and better quality in my opinion. So what we have used to see through and I think we've had it almost a year now is uh, we do a ton of structural slab uh, scanning and it's uh, uh, mostly for moisture content. We're looking for voids, uh, rebar, post-tension mapping, I think a, a big one is a uh, void and, and leak detection and slabs that we utilize uh, more importantly, uh, just because there is just a lot of, uh, there's a lot of case studies that we have out there with, uh, especially here in New Mexico, um, certain times of the year we have fluctuations in the temperatures. And I think most importantly is that we have some slabs that kind of freeze over real quickly. And, you know, they, they have these weird uh, chemical reactions and stuff. And you can, you can kind of pull that out of the, when it crystallizes in the concrete and we're able to you know pull core slabs and kind of look at data and look at the 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 hard uh, level a data and be able to analyze it and understand you know which filtering system we utilize to be able to capture you know that type of crystallization and application and that type of work uh the other thing that we've done is we uh, do a, a ton of uh, uh bridge patch scanning when they're trying to repair bridges we look for exfoliation uh any type of uh, water intrusion type of applications and it's been really huge in, in repair operations and being able to analyze information. Uh, another one is uh, that we we did by accident actually is that uh, we've done a lot of si there's been a lot of seismic activity in the pipeline area of the southeast uh, southeast region of Albu of uh, New Mexico. And what's great about that is uh, there's been earthquakes that have been kind of hitting that area a ton. And uh, we have been mapping um, slab cracks, which is really interesting is that you'd be able to see those voids uh, three-dimensionally. So that's been a huge uh, application for us being able to go in there and map how far down the, the cracks go and be able to navigate through that. So it's been a huge thing. And so that's basically uh, in our application for the C2 that's been real successful for us. I think the the main benefits for us is the advanced the the advanced data visualization. Uh, we are getting into a huge augmented reality in our in our company right now, where we're being able to interpret that data and being able to put it in a, a visual for the client to to understand you know the education of GPR and its applications. And I think. Uh, What's huge for us here in New Mexico is there's a lot of structural engineers who have been not introduced to this technology. I mean, they use a lot of other technologies that are non-invasive, but it's more like sound and some other things. But I think that this is another tool that's uh, it's more of a quantum leap that we're trying to introduce. And I think that uh, teaching them about the flexibility of the, the uh, automated data acquisition and the analysis is just another helpful tool to be able a tool to help them determine you know what they're looking at as far as information and it's just a huge uh, uh, advancement in the data exchange and that type of application when it comes to uh, the shared information. I think the the biggest uh, thing that how it's improved our workflow is the the flexibility of just of being us being able to utilize the data analysis and that's a big thing 
The data acquisition saves a ton of time. The operation is really simplistic. Uh, being able to pull it into uh, Ingrid and perform additional analysis with some filtering and some other things. Um, it just, uh, the diversity of it is just so huge that we haven't even touched 100% of everything that it's capable of doing. But uh, most importantly is in, you know, being able to uh, just look at that in its entirety is being able to uh, eliminate any type of errors in the acquisition, you know, the redundancy and in the information and, you know, just the quality of it's just unsurpassed. And, and, and you guys have a system that, in my, in my opinion, blows the competition out of the water.